this. It's disappointing. That's so cool. Breaker Breaker 1 2. Mess! Woo! Innovation. Z06. This is so cool! This is from the war. <laughs> 37 years. You can do it to magic. Just a little drink. She chugging. Got alien spacecraft. Oh, ah! oh. Rat shoes up. Hot garbage. Watch out, Marge. Big old booger. Lord. Was... Come on now. Prize on something. Oh, now I'm scared. Are you good, Peg? <laughs> Ow! We'll notch it. Back up, Bob Ross. <laughs> Lord. Uh, Come on now. Oh, no. This is troubling. Very low. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Crank her down. <laughs> Who cut the cheese? That's real nice. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude channel. Well, I was on Marketplace the other day, and I saw this little van. I'm bad to not travel far to get something, so this thing was like over three hours away. I messaged the guy. I was like, hey, would you be interested in delivering it for a little extra or whatever? And at first, he was like, yeah, maybe. And then he figured out who our channel was. He's a fan of the channel, so he's like, oh, yeah, I'll definitely deliver this thing. So a couple days went by. He was going to borrow a buddy's trailer to bring it down here because he was already going to another town near us to get some motorcycles that day. Well, I guess the trailer fell through, so he has now got a tow dolly from U-Haul, and he is pulling this thing here on a tow dolly. I hope he makes it. I hope nothing gets messed up, too. But he is on his way. He should be here in a couple hours. The kids have no idea about it, and I'm excited to see their reaction, so let's see what this thing looks like. He should be pulling up soon. So it's several hours later, and this guy's had to, I think, take the back roads the whole way here i honestly can't believe he's doing it really i'd be nervous as a cat towing an old junk car on a tow dolly all the way here he says he's about to pull up we'll see what we got out here oh i hear it rattling golly they got the hazards on behind them you've been, you been nervous as a cat Good. Man, you're a lot braver than me. <laughs> it's, it was a trick. <laughs> I was a little nervous coming through Knoxville. My name's Nathan. Hi, you took the interstate? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Jonathan, uh, it took us forever. I had uh, my wife and his wife were following behind That's us. That's so crazy. It kind of helped out a lot. Uh, That's a cool van. I'm telling you, that, that road was rough through there. I, we slowed <laughs> down. Got, I just took it down a second gear coming through. It's eight up underneath that underpass. And, I was a little worried about it there. Oh, I had him looking out the window. I was like, is everything still back there? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. How fast are you able to go? We were there? saying 55, 60 all the way down. So I bet. It was. I would be, too. It pulled all right, though? Yeah, it pulled great. It's, this thing's pretty light. I love the seats. That's cool. Yeah, the guy told me, because they look like the seats that were in them, but he said they were out of an old school bus. I was going to say it looks like our school bus Thomas seats. school bus seats. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe it'll be a runner. Much. I think it's got a good chance to be for sure. It's definitely a cool van. I hope to see y'all get it going yeah, really yeah. pretty soon, man. I hope to. <laughs> I told her, I said, it's going to be kind of sad seeing it on there. Right. <laughs> driving around. But, right. Oh, well, at least it ain't sitting. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll get to it one day. It's been a good old van. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot easier coming off. Of <laughs> yeah. At least it rolls. Man, a lot of them went by the rolls. Hush! <laughs> it's not that big, huh? No, it's little. Those doors are so funky how they go over. Look at the gauges over there to the left. <laughs> Kind of how you watch them. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody looking at them. Yeah, it's like, honey, get in the back, see what their oil pressure is. Two carburetors, yeah, two rebuilds. Yeah, carbs. Yeah. <laughs> it's different, that's for sure. Yeah, it is. Hey, go ahead, the gas it, that's for sure. Hey, you can't go slow when you're four wheeling, right? You better get on it. Keep tracking. It's like the shortest van I've ever seen, yeah, and the smallest. That's yeah, so it's cool. it's like short, stubby. 
Yeah, it's Please. like it's like 95 Look. inch wheelbase. I feel like how <laughs> tall is this thing? Yeah, it's not very are. big. It's so small. Look at it. It's like it's open floor it up. shifted. Yeah, it's a floor wait, shifted. Wait, wait. I think wait. It, <laughs> okay. That one don't open. Too. That door doesn't open okay. that good. Any other door? Any other one? It's got right. I like it. I like yeah. it. I love Tina. Wow. This That's funky crazy. Doors. Oh, it's got a bench seat up front. Are we going to get this running, Dad? Yeah, we're going to get it running-ish if we can. Again? That's awesome. Hey, Four speed. Brand new casings all the way around. Can you that believe that? Crazy. This hey, thing is impeccable. That is crazy. Hey, they tow dolly it here from Bristol on a tow wow. dolly. without lights. Yeah. I love the white mm -hmm. collar on the steering Yeah, we didn't even get to look at it last That's time. That's like really. the Econ one. What do you think, Space? It's disappointing. Oh, not, squeezel. So it, has, it has an engine in the back, right? Because there's nothing up there. Well, you're figuring things out, aren't you? Let's go. I see something down there. What in the world? <laughs> what is going on? Oh, is it under here? Is it actually under there? Oh. That is crazy. That's so weird. It's a lot like your car, wall. Two carbs, son. But yeah. it's a six-cylinder, flat six. I think it's 145 cubic inches and 80 horsepower. 80? Yeah, 80 is all you need. That's definitely all you need. That belt is so weird. Yeah, the belt yeah. goes around the corner. That's weird. So I gotta get the stuff for it to get her running. You know, we need a belt, we need some carb rebuild kits, some ignition parts. You know the deal. This is not what I was expecting, but I mean, she delivered. It's more than what you're expecting? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, my, okay. Watch out, Ellie. She'll take you out. Look, we got a spare cylinder head, it's spare so transmission. Random. But they would have had uh, up so to nine cool, passengers man. on this thing. So. Nine passengers? passengers. The Where floors are pretty solid. Yeah, considering. Yeah. Corvair. Oh, you got a badge, yeah? There's a Corvair 95, which I think 95 is the wheelbase, I believe. Breaker, breaker, one, two. Oh, one, two, okay. Look, it even got keys. It's supposed to have a title. I don't have it yet. We'll see. How about these boom boom speakers, huh? Boom boom speakers. What? Kmart speakers, Tosh. Kmart. Yeah, town. And good Kmart speakers. You don't get no better than that. Plus some nice seats in the back. Is it a four speed? Yeah, it's a four speed. Oh, it's the optional four speed. I figured it was a three speed. So these came with a power glide or a three speed manual or four speed. So this is the race model for sure. Look how close you are to the pedals. Is there yeah. anything up here? It's called there... forward control. Is wow. there nothing up here? Nothing. No, it's it's like our Econoline. There's just nothing up there. Oh, you just it, it don't even have a radiator. Does so. it open at all or is it just like it's You just probably there. keep that dent out of it pretty easy. That's crazy. That's it's like pulled on it. Yeah. I just found a light bulb in the seat. Oh, cool. Oh. Ooh. Does the clutch work? I didn't try nothing yet. Okay. Brake pedal situation? Hey, that actually comes back up. Brake? Non existent. She need a few pumps when we get fluid in her. No. Shifter? Just a little. Well, it's got a long way to go and a Shorter long time, time to, to get, get there. there. I like the dash and stuff. Go I here. feel good, Josh. Squeeze, you're going to have to help push it. Once we get back up, we'll go that way. <laughs> I can see him driving this. Yeah, yeah me too. We're gonna push this thing into the fields until we get parts. This thing is so cool. Do you oh, know where you're going? I got time. Going straight off this hill. Well, no brakes. Oh, never mind. This hill. <laughs> this thing is so tiny, and I love it. It is pretty cool, ain't it? I would drive this. I think you say about everything we get. Well, this thing's even cooler. Mesh, mesh. Should I bounce? No, Lord, no. Maybe if I dump the clutch, it might stop us. Probably not though. And we have no brakes also. You ready? I don't like rides. I love rides. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Oh, Lord! Woo! I can imagine me driving this. That's all she wrote, ain't it? I told you we were going to go like two feet. <laughs> Fun ride. That's good. Buddy. Fun car. You can check out our merchandise at thesleeperdude.com. We got hats, hoodies, stickers, we got shirts, squeezy artwork, Ralphie welding artwork. I mean, who wouldn't want that motorcycle right there? Also, we got wall wall pencil drawings, we got keychains, a little bit of everything. You can check out our second channel at sleeperdude2, check out our third channel at sleeperdude arm, and Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at sleeperdude88. Thanks for your support. Woo! Well, it's been a couple days. We finally got time to work on this thing. 
And man, do I have a treat for you guys. My dad brought this book over. So 1963 dealership book that was given to him by his auto mechanics teacher. That guy had worked at a Chevrolet dealership in 63. So dad likes 63 and Pilots, So that's where this came from. But let's flip through here. See, this is all the different models. So you had like Impala, Nova, Corvair, and Corvette in here. So this doesn't have any of the trucks. This is just the car models. It looks exactly like my dad's car right there. Uh, unfortunately, he's caught fire. I used to always sit and look at this thing for the Novas because my first car was a Nova, like that. Same color, but a four-door. Did you like feel the cloth or whatever? Yeah, yeah, I'll show you. It's crazy what you could get back then because, like, let me show the Impalas real quick because it probably had the most engine options and stuff. Power teams. You might ever watch the power team. You saw the power team, didn't you? Mm-hmm. They was ripping in phone books, weren't they? Ooh. So yeah, there's the interior and stuff for Impala. I think Dad's was this color here. For an Impala, you could got a six cylinder or one, two, three, four, five, six different V8s. Seven different engine options and then four different transmission options. Look at all the rear axle ratios you could have got. That's cool. Really neat. I don't think I've ever seen an overdrive one. Let's go on to what we're looking at though. You got the Corvair car, which ours is a Corvair 95 because it's a 95 inch wheelbase. Ours is actually the Greenbrier. So over here, so here is the available colors. What color is ours? It's this funky green, right? Let's look at our door jam. Yeah. I bent the towel out so we can open the door. So it's like a lighter green color. See the, yeah. the post there? Is it ivy green yeah. maybe? I don't know, it looks a little dark. <coughs> Laurel green maybe? Yeah, like I don't know, here's all the codes for them. What's our factory too? That's a cover there, isn't yeah, it? We don't know, huh? Probably fallen if I was guessing. Yeah, probably. That's what it is. Look at the camping option here. <laughs> This is like the base model because it didn't have the windows. So yeah. the optional models had windows all around. The two doors on this side, or you could have got double doors on both sides. That'd be cool. I wonder how much the camping option costs. I wish this had prices. Corvair Greenbrier Series Deluxe Sport Wagon. That's not what we got. <laughs> Look, you got your kids at the playground. They're always like hand drawn, you know? Yeah. yeah. So neat. Oh, this is the fancy interiors you could have got, I guess, right here. Patterns. I love that. Don't you talk? Yeah, it's awesome. Yellow and red and bright colors. I think ours was this. Sea Mist Jade, maybe. So you had the 80 horse 145, which is what ours is. But the Monza Spider, I believe they called the car, had the 150 horsepower turbocharged engine. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah, so they had one draw-through carburetor. So it made almost double the power. And that was the second car in the U.S. to ever have a turbocharger on it. I think it was the Oldsmobile F85 turbo jet or something was the first car. I think 1962, they came with a turbo in both those cars, which both were GM cars. So you could have got a three speed, a four speed, which is what ours is, or a power glide. And I think the power glide option was like 150 bucks or something extra. They called it a turbo air 145 is what we have. So the Monza motor without the turbo even had a little more power, four more horsepower. I bet you you feel that. <laughs> Two more pounds of torque. <laughs> double street side doors like I was talking about. So we did not have that. Forced air heater. Now this is a funny one. It was like 75 bucks or something. You could get a heater for this vehicle because it didn't come with a heater. Guess what the heater ran off of? Anybody want to guess? Propane. Close. Gasoline. So it would take gas out of your tank. Your oh gas my tank, gosh. That sounds so scary. Innovation. So let me just tell you. <laughs> if you... We're driving in the wintertime and wanted the heat, you would run out of gas sooner. That's How crazy so is crazy. that? I think the Volkswagen Beetle, which is what the Corvair was designed to compete with, was the, the VW Beetle and the VW buses, you know? I think the Beetle, some of those had like a windshield washer that ran off your spare, and it would flatten your spare if you used it enough, stuff like that. That's so Can you weird. believe that stuff? Two-speed windshield wipers, that's a nice option. Chrome-plated front and rear bumpers. We didn't get that either. Posi rear end, heavy duty suspension set up. It might have that, you don't know. Custom feature accessories for the Corvair. Now it looks like a lot of this is geared towards the car, but look, coat hooks, backup lamps, a spare lock. Does somebody steal your spare normally <laughs> out of the back of your car? I always like the deluxe mats, rear door warning light. And here's the most collectible vet ever, 63 Corvette. Really neat to look through these old books. It really gives you more of an idea of what you could have got back then because there were so many options back then versus now. Look at the, we ought to just look at the vet while we're here. Look, you get the 360 horsepower ramjet fuel injected motor. I probably had them double hump heads, wouldn't you think? Yeah. I remember seeing somewhere in here it shows the Z06 code, which was like a rare race car for back then. 
right here, special performance equipment Z06. So that was the code that later turned into the Z06 Corvette years later. So it was like bigger fuel tank, bigger brakes, stuff like that. So there's your little trip down memory lane with these old books. It's really neat what they had back then. It's probably hard to find one of these, I would think. Let's get started and see if we can get this thing running. Anybody got high hopes for it running? This I guy do. does, always. It could possibly. I wanted to show y'all one more option. I'm surprised it wasn't in that book. I guess because it was pretty rare. So they made a ramp side option for these. What is that? The what bedside laid down that and it was like a ramp so where you cool. could load stuff in the side of it. That's so That's cool. So they cool. only made about 3,000 of them, somewhere around there. When I read it, said a lot of them were sold to the Bell Telephone Company. Rolls of cable and junk in there, but pretty That's neat. Cool. That's so cool. Okay. Don't get any ideas, Marge. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> <That camper. laughs> All right, let's get into it. This is like the Scooby-Doo man, the mystery machine. Uh, okay. You know, I was looking at pictures of it. The mystery machine was not like one specific van, but it had doors like this and a flat nose. It was more generic van. But these are made to compete with the Econoline, like our truck over there, or the Dodge A100 vans. So I'm a little worried, just being honest. It's an engine I'm not familiar with at all. It's really odd. I guess let's start pulling plugs, huh? And pulling carburetors and stuff. I want to get some lights on that yeah, thing. I, I can't even see it. Dark. That's just the cooling fan. It spins free, right? Oh. I hope that's not what he meant by the engine's free, because that's not the engine. The crank's down there. Oh. Which I have no idea how you would get a, hmm. a oh, socket on that or anything. That's like a half inch from the end of that thing, the frame that this is. I don't know if that's from this wreck. Probably is. Our generator's free and our tensioner pulley's free, and our fan's free, so somebody's disconnected the linkage, so that sounds like a nightmare. But it looks like pretty much everything's here. Oh, look, the oil pressure lines broke the gauge. Oh, so, we've had that happen. We, <laughs> we did, didn't we? In competition, even. Yeah. You see what that is? What? That is a telegraph thing. What? Why would that be in here? I've never found one of those anywhere. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's like for a telegraph. Well, don't you like tap it and it makes yeah. certain dots? Made in Japan. What? Why do they have we that? This could be from the museum. war. It could be. This is from the war. Which war would that be? Wind talkers or something. Wind, Wind talkers. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why anybody had that. This is cool. This is super That's cool. super cool. See, Mom's gonna have that on the map. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you had to pull this back to fill it up with fluid? With, that's oil, yeah. I don't know where the dipstick is. You like. reckon she's got any oil in her? I was looking the other day for the dipstick and I don't see it. It's crunchy. I don't know that's where the dipstick is. There's the is. dipstick right there. <laughs> oh, uh, no, that's not it. Anybody see it? Yeah, right there. Look. Oh, man, you got me, didn't you? I got some new ones. They were kind of hard to come by. We need to keep them in order, obviously. How did you get that off? I just pulled that's weird. The top's off that spark plug, like the way a motorcycle is. Yeah. But that's not the way these wires are set up. Are you sure? There Look, is. yours is still on there. Oh. So that cylinder wouldn't have been firing. This is the big plugs. Yep. Probably should have oiled this up. I wish somebody would have told me to. I told you that three times. Hey, it's got aluminum cylinder heads and stuff, so be careful, guys. I'll say spray down there where your plug is. Yeah, you need to spray the carbs. Anything we'll have to take loose. What's with us and air cool things lately, huh? They're oh. air cool. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a bad one. <laughs> that was the, not a noise. What goes in that compartment right there? That's a battery box. Oh, okay. Right down there. Cool. Yeah. Pretty this neat. is your, for your spare? Yeah, that's your spare case in there. Obviously, they didn't buy the lock because it's gone. See, somebody stole it. They yep. should have bought the lock. I wish somebody wouldn't have taken the linkage loose already. Oh, that was really loose. Well, that's good. I don't want it to be. Spark plugs can get jammed up in aluminum and get stuck. Pretty common thing. Oh, okay. That carburetor kits off Amazon, so that should be fine. Oh, it goes through. It's on the top. Well, how cool is that? Pretty rusty. Rusty. Well, and it's great that we have an extra carburetor rebuild. Ralph will be so happy. Any yeah, we've been trying to focus on our projects around here, but you know, when something like this comes up on the marketplace, you just can't say no, you Where's know, you especially if they're going to deliver it. Guys, if you're taking apart something complicated like this, take a picture of it. Luckily, we have video of it. You always need something to go back to. 
This is the very first multi-carb car we've worked on, I think, to try to get it running. Yeah. That one's stripped out already by somebody else. I think that's why the linkage didn't come off. Mm. Ooh, spider. I saw that guy. What is he going? Watch out. He just keeps going in circles. Look, this is the choke. <laughs> so this goes down onto the cylinder head with like a, a spring that as it heats up, it lets the choke off manually. Will we have to try to turn it over with the starter? I mean, we can't I really get nothing down there. I mean, we'll, so we'll have to see if we can get down there or not. Here's that. Oh, it's up here. Yeah, the bolt's at the top. It's pretty cool, huh? I was wondering where it was. I couldn't really find it. There's a firing order on the One, four, shroud. Five, two, six, three, no, two, three, six. I'm going to get that tattooed on me. <laughs> this is our fuel pump here, you see, which probably doesn't work. Usually doesn't. I know I've only had like one or two cars that it worked on. Oh, the fuel pump, yeah. yeah. And usually they work like for once or twice and then they quit. Yeah. That's the norm. So the guy actually texted me later and said that the, the license plate he took off of it was from 1987. So this thing has been parked for 37 years now. Wow. So that's been a long time since this thing's ran. Come on. I tried a couple different bits. It's almost out, but it's not completely out. You got the long nose on that one. Yeah, it's not working. These are just like the cheapest things. <laughs> I don't even know where I got them. I want to spray marble down these cylinders so it can do its magic. <laughs> you ain't got to give it all in one thing. I can't give it much. Just a little drink. <laughs> I've never seen anyone do that. What, put a square bit in a Phillips or what? Yeah, that's rounded out. Yeah, it looked pretty square to me. I thought that might work. Looks like it's going to work. We won't be reusing this guy. You don't see any screws around here, do you? I mean, here's this, but it's from that. So. I wonder where they put the other screws and stuff it took off. We may have to run the throttle by hand <laughs> while somebody drives. Oh, no. I'll run it. This motor wouldn't survive. Come on. This little wiggling pin on the wobbling shaft is really... There we go. We'll throw that away so I never have to see it again. Okay, right. there's all that linkage. Take our fuel lines off here. We'll probably not use this pump unless it just magically starts working. Ooh. Mm, crunchy. You gotta give it the... You know, all at once. Yeah. All right, there we go. And it's gonna start raining on us. I was gonna tell you, there's a big old black cloud coming. Uh-oh. It looks like it might just pass over here in a few minutes, though. So. Mm -hmm. There we go. Got that carb off. This one off. Are they the same, or are they mirrors of each other? They're the same, right? Looks like it. I think so. We need a mark on that to make sure we... Oh, yeah. Put them. I'll put them back on the same side they came off of. Oh, this is our vacuum vents, probably here. Yeah, that goes to the vacuum vents. We are little intake ports. Oh, a little gritty, but... Since it's aluminum, oh, this one has a little nut or something down the bottom of it, see? Oh, yeah. Wanted to get that out. That one's loose, too. It's crunchy looking. It's worse than you. Well, they kind of look the same. Yeah, yeah they're crusted up. It looks like it's been burning some oil or something. They don't seem to be like... Like stuck really bad at all, really. That's good. That's good. We don't want like, that. Not even tight. Like, let's keep these in order, okay? They all look really oily, don't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one looks a little bit better. What a deal. You want me to put down the intake port? Sure, give it a drink. Like, drink, drink, or drink? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, here we go. She's chugging. Yeah, she's... So they got some dirt out there on the outside, but that don't really affect anything. That's the better one. Look how small this is. I mean, that's like almost <laughs> lawnmower or go-kart style, yeah. That's a very small butterfly right there. A little bit of junk right there you see on top of it. All right, well, before we crack it up, we're going to spray it off here. I don't think I've ever rebuilt this style of carburetor. I've done the ones with the Novas. This way, it won't get jumped down in it as we're doing this, taking it apart. Oh, that's 
How many cylinders have you filled up with Marvel Mystery Oil? A lot. A few, huh? Yeah. Let's see what we got inside these carburetor bowls. That's the important part. Ralphie thinks it's the outside of the carburetor. That's really inside, especially the jet. Oh, gosh, Ralphie. That's crazy right there. <laughs> wow. I need to drink. What are you working on? Let's see it. Okay. Good job. I'm trying to get all these little linkages out of the way so we can take this top off this. So this one is like your high idle when it's on choke linkage. Oh, wow. That was not even that was getting much at all, was it? Well, we didn't uh, miss a screw this time. <laughs> Unlike others. Okay. Ooh, yeah. yeah that wasn't going to run at wow. all. Pour it out on it's this. a little. I think there's a lot of dust. Wow. Oh. Oh. Looks like my last ear candle. <laughs> so look, there's our accelerator pump, which is a vital part of it looks drivability. Like it's shot. Yeah, this right here needs to be soft. So these are like rubber or I don't know buffalo hide something. And if they're hard like this, they basically have a bore they run up and down in inside there. And when you give it gas, you know, like you, you marge it just a little bit, <laughs> it's sprays fuel to keep it from stumbling and falling on its face. A really common problem with old carburetors is they just fall on their face when you give them throttle. It's because that guy right there is rotted out. Can I scrape? He can't help itself. He yeah, just go ahead. Sure. scrape her up. It's been apart before because look, I see some marks on the screw for the booster here. Well, somebody's been in it at some point before. So these are our floats here and they basically set your fuel level depending on how this tab's bent right here. And we need to get our needle and seat out. That's another common thing that messes up is the needle and seat, which is right in there, the brass thing. Right now, our needle is stuck. See how this is going up and down, but this isn't? Yeah. So if that comes down, it lets fuel in. If it goes up, it shuts off fuel. And if it stays there, it continues to shut off fuel. So we don't want that. So I'm gonna pop the accelerator pump out of here. It's got a little pin that'll probably fly off over my head. Come on, there we go. So there you go, there's your accelerator pump. Hopefully our new kit has one. Why well, do you wanna open our kit and see what we got? Yeah. The gas is not stuck at all. Ooh. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got all of that, I think. Is it supposed to have a spring on it? Cause like this one's got a spring, this one don't. A spring? Spring. Well, I'll just take the spring off of it. Got it? Mm -hmm. Now that punch is never gonna come out. Can I spray the inside of here? Sure. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, there's a float, Ralph. Are you saying spray it? Not necessarily. Oh. Here, match that up, please, Wawa. Yeah. Look, there's your needle. Does it come with a new seat as well? Oh, it does. You're just missing a hole. Well, we'll drill well, it. Look, there's more than one option here. No, uh oh. What's the difference in this one? Oh, it's that one hole. This is the correct gasket, dude. You want me to clean that? Well, let me get this seat out of there first. Let's pull this out of here. Oh, yeah, that'll fit. <coughs> that turn? Yeah. Oh, you all right? Okay, good deal. We all survived. We're gonna skip that one. I'm ready. You're about to spray me in the face, is what you're gonna do. Probably should have done this on the cart. Oh man. We're gonna put it in the vise or something. There's a fuel filter behind there. Now these should have like a I think it's a brass fuel filter or something like that. All these old GMs had. Yeah, see that guy? Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. I don't know how they manufactured that or how it all worked, but I guess we can just clean that guy up unless it comes with a new one. See the dirt at the bottom? Mm -hmm. Look down in there, too. Oh, yeah. Last thing I think I got to pull out of here is these booster right here. I think we have a new gasket to go under it. And this is where the fuel comes up from the jet and it atomizes and goes in there. Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. They're see. usually round. That's like an alien spacecraft there. Can I spray this? Oh, wait, look at it. Okay, sure, sure. Just don't spray me. We're never going to know how to put this back together, are we? Oh, uh, we'll, we'll get it. Is there a check ball? Check balls are always what scares me. Oh, we got to get the jet out. That would be an important step. What is that? Why is that green? Hmm. Oh. Questions. Come on. Oh, man, that's not want to come out. We didn't take the mixture screw out either, did we? Probably not. So where was it set? 
like one and a quarter or something. So that's what sets your air fuel ratio at idle. We just gotta get the jet out somehow. I do not want to strip that guy out. Looks like it's been uh, tried to take out before. This what guy. is this? Is this the check ball? It's all greened up? Probably. Look at that. Check out sweeptin.com. Use code SLEEPERDUDE for 5% off your order. I don't know how that works. I'm gonna have to call him. Like, hey, how's it work? Tell me. I won't tell nobody. It like, freezes it, you know? Oh, uh, cold shrink. Oh. I, I got a screwdriver that takes bits now. Oh man, <clears throat> that's uh not good. It's not even trying to come out of there. Maybe we just need to plop it down the ultrasonic for a while and let it soak in there, huh? Yeah, yeah. Might be for the best. Maybe it'll loosen some of this stuff up. This guy definitely needs to go. So we got all our parts here. I'm gonna drop it down in here. Of course, the float's going to float. <laughs> Huh. We had to move it to the back room because it messes with the audio so bad. <laughs> we got cracked up over here. Oh, was that funny? <laughs> it's a little whiny, isn't it? Yeah, it's whiny. It's a wine bag. Chooching right along. Let's open this other one up here. Hey, it actually has a soft accelerator pump. She's dirty. Oh, man, look at the main jet in it. It's already been rounded out before. This needle is stuck as well. Yeah. Oh, look, Leifer, you're up. Sometimes you can tap on the top and get it to come loose. Ah, do your magic. So here's my idea. Why don't you go put it in gear and me and Wall will rock it back and forth and try to roll the engine over. Try cramming it in second gear or something. All right, let's rock what? it. Oh, you see it? Yeah, it's moving. All right, roll it back. <sighs> okay, so the engine's free. Oh, oh, what wow. What was that? Oh, it's over. It's spinning over, okay. Let's roll it some more. We'll get it all the way around. What about our top? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Funny noises, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I bet if we had them unplugged, it really shot out at us. Oh, yeah, it probably would have, huh? Saved us, didn't it? Saved us right there. That's good news. Yeah, at least she's free. All right, let's put a battery on it, hook it up to the starter, and see if it'll spin over with the factory starter and wiring. Okay. That's always a fun thing to try. I will say, I don't see too much that looks like it's been chewed up on this. Yeah. I mean, there's normally a bunch of rat chews up. Rat, what? Rat chews rat up? Rat chews up. Here? I don't know. So this is your positive one here. I might see the telegraph later. I'm thinking about it. Where's the negative? Uh, is there a negative? This is the negative right here. Yeah, the Everything looks pre sketch. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wait. I hooked it up wrong. Okay. I knew what I was doing. Let's see what this does. Well, no sparks. You see any lights or anything come on? No. Why don't you go uh, try to turn the key on? Try like the first click. Does anything light up or come on? No. What about the next click? Nothing. Okay, that's not good. It may just be your connection. That looked really loose. I'm on trying me. to hold it here. I say try to rub on there. Yeah, it made a new end on it. Ow. Still put a new battery cable in on it. We'll probably take that loose there too and clean it on the frame. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty green. Bad. Look at the end of that. We probably should cut this and strip back a new spot. Sorry about the rain, guys. We're trying to video in between it raining here. We actually waited like a couple hours today for it to stop raining. It's gonna rain on us again. Don't go down the intake, thank you. That'll work a lot better. I'm suspicious about this one. It looks pretty rough. I'm gonna say that's not the factory ground location either. We need to check it's oil or no. We ain't found the dipstick yet to do it. Mom's looked it up. She says that the dipstick is in here. And it sounds like she is right. <laughs> Look, we're perfectly fine. This is another one of them kill you ones. Oh yeah. What is that? Is that? Somebody's <laughs> added that? Oh it sure looks like it, doesn't it? The way it's welded. 
Alright, we got plenty of oil. Well, that's easy enough. Why isn't every car that way? I don't know. That seems like a great idea. Let's try to get to some good metal here. Maybe it'll connect better. I saw it does have the factory ground strap that goes up to this rail, so it should be a pretty good place to connect. I just went ahead and put a brand new bolt and washer there. Right, let's see if this makes any difference. Is the key still on, Ralph? I'm gonna go to make sure. Alright, we'll hook this up. Anything? No. Do I need to turn it on? Turn to the first click there. Nothing? Nothing. Is the next click trying to start the engine or is it like something else? It's something else. Nothing still? Yep. Should I try to crank it? Sure, try it. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Well, that's great. Is the starter still on? Uh, if no lights or anything are coming on, it's probably something else. So this guy goes up underneath there. The starter, I think, is right back there somewhere. We need to start tracing some wires, I guess, huh? Woo! Have you even looked under there? No, this is the first. You see anything that's scaring you? One good thing is all the shields are under here. You know, there's not like a yeah. missing covers, which I know on air cooled is important. Well, that's good. So we might just have to jack it up back the very back right here. Oh man, this wires are looking at here is awful. Look at that. Ooh. They're all melted. Oh. I swear that doesn't look like a factory connector, but it might be. Look at that mess. No wonder nothing's working. I think that's the harness that goes towards the front. Oh, goody. We'll probably just have to hotwire this thing. Yeah. It goes right there. Yeah. It comes back through right here. Okay. Yeah, that's a fire waiting to happen, what that is. Check out the little valve covers there. How cute. And then this is your oil pan. Look, it's a completely flat oil pan, Ralph. Does it have a drain? Yeah, right here's the drain on it. And that's your exhaust system coming out. There's your transaxle. This is your axles that go out to drive it, you know? But there's a fuel line that's ruptured and they put a hose over it. All good things, all good things. What about that back casing? Looks like it. It's in alignment, isn't it? Oh, Lord. Hey, look, he pulled it here with two lug nuts missing. Oh, my goodness. He said it had new casings on it. They're holding air good. Date code says 05. <laughs> I think this is why our shifter doesn't work right. Why? This is our shifter thing there. Oh, right, I'm gonna go up there and shift it. You tell me what it does. I think it's hitting that cross member. That's like back and forth and neutral. It's just going side to side. Right, this is supposed to be first. Yeah, it's that's moving, the problem. It's moving the whole thing. This is supposed to be second. Yeah. Go forward yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be going towards fourth kind of. That's third. It's moving like the whole transmission or whatever. Yeah. Somebody looks like they jacked it up on that. You just need to beat down on that thing. Bend that down right there and it'll be good to go. Yeah, because look, this looks like a factory bin here. Yeah. I think that's stock. But see how it's crammed yeah. against the top of this? Yeah. That's from this being bent. So if it runs, we might have to just cut this section out and put a straight piece in it and re-weld it, you know, or something. Yeah. So it's hitting this, isn't it? Yeah. Not and shifting. it's moving everything back. Okay. I figured something like that was going on. It felt like hot garbage. I can't believe these little axle and stuff made it all the way here down the interstate, you know? The main battery cable is going straight to the starter here. And then there's a little yellow wire coming off of it. Looks like it's been modified. How does the rest of the system get any power? It's only going to the starter. So somebody has hot wired this thing before. You see, there should be like another main cable going like the fuse box or something, you know? And there's nothing. All our exhaust goes through that little muffler right there. Oh. So this is the main wires coming off the starter. This is the R side of the starter. So only this is the S side. It's not even plugged in. Oh. And this is all melted. So I don't really feel comfortable plugging it in. I think we'll just hook straight to here and try it. So we do have a good ground from the battery to the block. I think this thicker wire, if it gets power, the engine should spin over. It's not getting power. Okay, what about if I did it this side? No. Well, snap. Why ain't that working? Is it the starter someone? Could be, it's built into the starter. Let me get something that puts out more amps. Let me just get a wire and go straight to it because I don't know how many amps my tester can do. Oh! Uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> oh, watch out, Marge. Isn't that funny? So it's apparently so cool. it was maxing out the tester. So do we have like some compression in these cylinders? Let's see. That one's got compression. That one's got some compression. Okay, might as well check them all, right? Mm -hmm. Marge couldn't do this. No, I'm nervous. 
I'm nervous over here. Some of them don't feel like they have a ton of pressure. Okay. Well, we got compression. That's a good start, huh? Yeah. yeah. So if we can get a working ignition system and everything's in time, maybe it'll run. That's maybe exciting. Maybe we'll have better luck than the last time. Yeah. You notice it never pushed any oil pressure out? Well. It should have sprayed oil out of this. She's just getting warmed up. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Might need to come around a little bit more. Hmm. We got some champions today. They all seem to be gapped about right. It'll be fine, right, Marge? Yeah. These are really easy to change. I was worried that the plugs would be like down outside the car somewhere. I was gonna say, I and feel like this is surprising you. I think you thought it would be worse than it is. Yeah, well, I always expect it to be terrible in every way, so it's working out so far. Will she run? Probably not, but we'll work on it. There's probably a very specific torque for these because it's an aluminum cylinder head. Luckily, we have Ralphie here. Yeah. Right there. Feels right. It's got the funny spark plug wires like a Hemi kind of does, you know? This might be a Hemi. That thing got a Hemi in it. Come on. Look how rusted up these screws are. Oh, they come out easy though. So the early ones had like a snap on style cap I figured out when I ordered this. And this is the later one. I think it was like, I don't know, 61 or two and later. We got some points in there. Got and they actually fuzzy. pretty nice. They're really fuzzy looking. Look how corroded they are on the tip, though. Yep. That's what matters. Ooh, it's a big old booger. So, look, this guy holds a little bit of oil to lubricate this guy here. All right, let's swap everything out. It looks like somebody's added a wire here to the negative side. It's the only thing that should go to, I can think of, would be a tachometer. Does that have a tack up there, Ralphie? Or you see a white wire that used to maybe go to a tack? Yeah, I do see a white wire. Well, somebody must have had a tack on it at some point. I can't think of another reason why it would have a wire off the negative side of the coil. I'll probably just go ahead and cut that. I don't see a reason for that. So this wire comes to the negative side of the coil to the points here. The points open and close the ground signal. And you have a hot wire to this green here, which they have a total of three wires running of this. So I will probably just start over over here and just go straight from the positive side straight to the coil. Which they don't get a full 12 volts they're running, it'll actually burn the coil up. They actually get 12 volts on cranking and then it goes down to like six or nine volts when it's running. I actually got a new condenser as well. It does look like it's had points put in it, but then again, stuff inside the cap can look new for a long time because it doesn't get exposed to the elements like everything else. I like the little holy wiper guy. Our new one's got real nice contacts to them, obviously. Set that there. So then we got our wars here this one doesn't have a nut it just like clamps in there now we need to check our point gap i need to get this engine at the right spot though right on the flow with this steel i actually was able to get an opening wrench on the end of this crack just a little bit here right there you're right well i just, I just about fell. Like, it actually really bad so we're gonna go ahead and change the rotor as well Points, condenser, cap, rotor, wires, plugs, the whole deal. And this guy can only go on one way. How's it go, kids? Good There's going to be a little notch somewhere, but this can't go over. Look, we'll just try it. That's not it, is it? There we go. There. I had to end up sourcing these parts from four different places. It was like Amazon, eBay, and O'Reilly's to get everything. So I left all my old stuff on here so I could reference it. So this one is going to be our shortest plug wire. Look how short this one is, guys. It goes like right there. Itty bitty. The reason it needs these big grommets is to seal off for air, you mm -hmm. know? Because it's got to be able to draw air. It's like having air a fan shroud, you know? So basically it skips every other one on this side. That's how the firing order works. Hopefully the last guy had the firing order correct. <laughs> Pull all this old stuff out. Where are you going? How does the belt turn? It turns a corner. We gotta get these grooves cleaned out. Look how bad. You can tell this thing was sitting forever. Look, there's part of the old belt and it's all rusted in there. The crank looks the same way. I saw it look, right there. See the? Mm -hmm hunks in it, so we need to dig all that out. All right, let's verify our firing order here. One, four. It's the center one, right? Yeah. Five, two, yes, three, and six. Okay, firing order looks to be correct. Come on, get out of there. We don't need you throwing a belt on us. Oh, look, that's a bunch of rust there. There we go. It's funny how they just jam up in there, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Pretty common for one that's been sitting. I'm surprised at how well this turns. Probably the last six guys that tried to sell it was like, see, the motor's free. Oh, 
She took off. Kind of surprised all these pulleys turn as well. That one's really deep. See that? Mm-hmm. That's wild. I don't think I've ever seen it that bad before. It's pretty rough. You always want to use your knife as a pry bar, guys. Mm. There you go. Get that one out. I don't know if I can get to the crank, though. See all the layers of rust? Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, there you go. That's probably good enough for its four, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. surely. Doing some archaeology here. Trying to get it out of the crank. That is really hard to get to. You might could get to it better from the bottom, huh? Maybe. Probably like some cover you can take off. This thing had trailer lots. Oh, Lord. It was pulling trailers behind this thing. That's kind of funny, isn't it? Does it got a hitch? Um, no, not currently. It used to, I guess. Must have. Why don't you go ahead and cut this line right, right about here? We'll just run a hose straight from here to the boat tank, okay? Because we okay. know the factory tank ain't going Well, I saw this line's rusted out right past there, so just cut it off somewhere it's close up here. I'm trying to loosen up the tensioner here. <sighs> So we can put the belt on it, hopefully. I just don't know how I'm gonna get it around the crank yet. We may have to take some cover loose or something. It looks like it's got quite a bit of adjustment to it. I remember looking at these pictures of these engines in that book I showed you and thinking, how does the belt turn the corner? Because the belt goes from this to that. It takes a 90 degree turn. Oh yeah, she moved. Okay, is that all the way in? I think so. Here, let me cut that belt off. That looks impossible. Squeeze it through there. Come on now. I literally have like a eighth of an inch to get it through there. Unless we can bend this rear body panel back out some. There's not enough room for it to go in there. Ooh. I don't want to hurt anything mm. here. It's got to go around the oil filter and everything. I'm not changing oil until she runs. You know what I mean, Cub? Yep, I agree. See how it smoked that whole harness? That could have been why she got parked, hopefully. It'd be fine. Oh, that. Give me enough room to get around the oil filter, maybe. Oh, that plan worked. I just gotta get it around nut on the crankshaft. Like this right here. We gotta snap our plug wires down so they can't get into that. This goes across the tensioner. It's got one of them flat bars that hold it on there like a lawnmower does. <laughs> what a weird, weird setup. Yeah, that'd be a problem if your plug wires came loose. Do you want me to prize on something? Can you see how close that is? This crank pulley is like literally an eighth of an inch from this thing. There's not enough room for the belt. So maybe if I can pry against this crank pulley, maybe the motor mounts have enough cushion to let me by. Push. It's almost there. I got it past the crank bolt. Okay. There is so much junk in the bottom of this. It's ridiculous. There's like a foot of stuff down here. There's like a little tray in the bottom. It's all full. I'm gonna have to dig some of this out by hand first. Clutch. Yeah, that's all. I got a clutch in here. We got a whole spare transmission, too. Push, guys. I'm sliding more than pushing. It won't fit down through there. I don't understand how that's possible. I think it's slipping. I'll try to get this cover off. No, come on. It's got a big bolt under here. Hopefully, this isn't like the drain or something. <laughs> I don't know what it would be back here. It's empty if it was. Oh! Well, I got some broken screws and stuff here. Look at that. See the crank? All this stuff wow. in there. There's our crank pulley right there. We need to take this loose, I guess, to get to it. If it will, look how nasty those nuts look. Oh. Lord almighty. Now I'm scared. What does that do? I was just trying to get this cover out of the way. Oh, it's a motor mount. Throw that back in there. Okay, she's going back. She's getting it right back. Okay, we're gonna have to just do it a different way. <laughs> About to drop the bottom end of the motor out. <laughs> trying to dig all this trash out of here around this pulley. Push, push. We're so close to getting past that. Almost there. Is it? It let off. Let me see. It may got past it there. It's past all of the things that are in our way. And this guy goes this way, turns the corner. Rabbit goes through the hole. Now, if we can just roll it onto the fan here. Come on. Ow. Let's turn the engine over. Oh, and it already ate a plug bar. Okay. Oh. God. Go ahead, what, are you doing? what are you doing? Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, we already got a nick and a plug wire. That's not good. Mm, well, that's Let's electrical tape that up. <laughs> that is the weirdest belt setup I've ever seen. Don't worry, we got electrical tape on that. Got a purple zip tie here to hold it down this time. I even talked about how bad that would be, right? And then, you did. No, I did it. <laughs> I swear she looks so much bigger already. Hey, where are you going? Come here. What you doing? Hi. Good morning. Are you a good pig? Yeah, you're a good pig. Okay, you got that tightened down. Let's see how the belt works, guys. You wanna see it in action here? Yeah. How does that work? Very cool. Pretty neat, isn't it? Is it in gear or not? Like, well, I don't it? think it's in gear. All right, now we just gotta wire up our ignition system. And put carbs on. Well, yes. Is she doubled in size or something? I think she's tripled in size. She's heavy. <laughs> yeah, they talk about you. I'm just gonna unhook everything that's over here. This runner straight over to the battery. I don't know what all this mess is they've done here. They ain't gonna be helping us, I'm sure, with that harness melted like that. No. Check out my $2 kill switch here, huh? Beautiful. Very nice, huh? So I'm gonna run this to where we have a legitimate kill switch to shut the engine off. I normally don't do that, but we're going above and beyond with this one, aren't we? There's already a hole here. I'm thinking I might just pop it up through there. What the heck? Oh, it's still big enough, okay. You get a Christmas card brick. We're gonna drill it out just barely. Christmas card brick. That's all it took right there. That's totally it. I yeah. called it. This is so legitimate. Just think, if you're driving, you have an emergency, all you have to do is hop out of the driver's seat, walk to the back of your van, and kill the engine. Will that mess up the thing from lifting? We'll notch it. This is the correct length. So, the other end shouldn't be long at all, huh? Right about there. Let's see if you like this. You like that? Huh? Is that good? Is that pretty good? You want it? That was the most satisfying thing. <laughs> oh! She caught me. Ooh. I told you. She didn't mean to. So this positive cable already had a wire here. So I'm just crimping this to that. Right now, there's no power to the coil. Even if we do this, we got power to the coil. So I've got the coil wire here. I like to test the coil first because that way, you know, you never know if it's going through everything else it's supposed to go through. I'm going to turn the power on the coil and while you hit that starter button and we'll see if it arcs. Go ahead. Yep, see that? Yep. Okay, we got fire. So the points are working. They're giving the coil a signal. Hopefully our timing is correct. I guess it's time to go get our carburetors out of the ultrasonic. Let's go. It smells like Freshly mopped floors in here. It does. <laughs> Let's see what they look like. Ooh, it's hot. It's 59 degrees Celsius in there. It's supposed to be 40. Okay. okay. Looks better. Looks better. Look how hot that is. All right. Well, let's go put it together. See if we can get this thing to run. We got to get all the gunk off here that's still left. Don't want any junk in there, do we? Back up, Bob Ross. So we're basically gonna spray through every orifice. Like this is our mixture screw port here. You gotta watch, some of it will come right back at you. Hey. Whoa. What's up? What happened? Come it's here. Something scared her. Look how dirty that still was. Yeah, there's still some junk in there. You're okay, it's all right. You're okay. Oh. She's so close to your foot. Since we can't get our jets out, I'm just gonna spray right through here. Try to clean that passage out. We got this brush set. I'm gonna go through the bore of the accelerator pump with it, try to clean it out, because it's kind of like a piston and, you know, a bore in the engine. It's very important for this to be smooth and seal up good before it ain't gonna work. There's gotta be a passage down in there. See how the fuel if it goes above this level, it spills over into the accelerator pump bowl, and then that plunger pushes it down. I haven't actually even seen a passage in there yet, but I know there's one in there. Where do you go from there? You go somewhere. All right, I'm gonna blow down through this. Oh, something hit me. Is that your check ball? Where are you going? Was it the green thing? Look, look at that guy. What is that? Oh, oh it popped out of here where the green thing hey, was. Hey, hey, that brings you in here. Look, is it this thing? It blew that out. Look. Yeah, that's it. 
So that was stuck in there, I didn't even know it. Okay, after some more spraying and blowing through there, we finally got that passage opened up, I believe. We should have an accelerator pump. We've got the passageway between the jet and the booster clear too, which is your two most important things. So it should be clear to start putting this back together. There's so many little passages in these things. Got a little gasket here. It's a little guy. Yeah, this pops down in here. Believe it or not, carburetors was the very first things I started doing with cars because my dad had an old quadrajet sitting in the back of my grandpa's cabinet shop. I wanted to rebuild it, so I got a carburetor kit for it from the parts store and rebuilt a carburetor for a vehicle I didn't have, you know. Just for funsies. Just for funsies, yeah. I just want you to know, she put an animal cracker by your toes so she would bite your toes. <laughs> you did? <laughs> no. yeah. That's hilarious. She's trying to sabotage you. Wow, that is so terrible. I was like leading and I had a little path going straight to your dogs. Oh, thank you're you just so following much. it. It's <laughs> our seat right here. We got a brand new one to pop in there. It's nice when you come with that stuff and you don't have to clean the old one up, you know? Mm -hmm. You can see the diameter difference of the new accelerator pump versus the old one. But it didn't come with this like catch or spring, so I got to take this off of here, transfer it over to the new one here. They are the noisiest eaters. Yep. Aside from Squeeze. Mm. Wow. Sorry, Squeeze. It brings in a lot. Uh, eat like a pig, don't it? Yeah, I get it. Eat like a pig. It makes total sense. This clip pops in this little groove here. Like that right there. That goes on here with a little clip. And I think we got a new clip. We do. This little guy here. I can't really even pick these things up. Oh. Oh, God. Look. I can't squish that any farther. <laughs> That one's folded up, don't she? She's out. <laughs> Here's our new needle. Bloop. Goes right down there. Put our pin back in to hold our float in place. Is this going to be a runner, Marge? It's going to be a runner. You know what really burns my biscuits? What about your biscuits? These new carburetor kits don't come with the paper instructions or the diagram. You have to like download the app on your phone. I'm not doing any of that. I hate that stuff. Doesn't that make you mad? Yeah. Mad as sin. All right, now, does our needle and seat work? Yes, they work now. It's our fuel taker. Trying to spray back through it backwards. Mm -hmm. Oh, that red that came out of it. Put our mixture screw back in. Usually most stuff is set like a turn and a half. So you bottom it out, not super hard, and then you back it off a turn and a half. We'll start from there. We'll pop this guy back in there, even though we didn't know it existed until a few minutes ago. <laughs> So our pump goes down there. We have a spring under it. Do you have a gasket? Here. Oh, yeah, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? Good job, Ralph. Well, let's put the gasket on there. More holes or no holes? More holes. Darker color. No, it was the no holes. He's no, right. because I it's had no holes. No holes. So I had to put this on first. It goes on this side. I have to take the floats back out. Darn. <laughs> Why is that funny? It's not funny. <laughs> it's really funny. Okay, now we got our gasket in there. Let's try this again. It's like so many things line up at the same time. Marge. What? We're going to finish Lawrence of Arabia tonight. <laughs> I've been a slave. I don't know. I was hoping you didn't finish it. <laughs> Lord. She doesn't think any old movies It's so are boring. Listen, if it's not cops. Hey. Or something. Or if it's not some reality mystery. TV show. Or murder mystery. Yeah, Come on now. I grew up on cops. That's all I'm saying. No doubt. They probably filmed it at your house. <laughs> Only like three episodes. <laughs> that linkage there is what's going to work our accelerator pump. So when we hit the throttle, it'll push down into that. We're just going to tighten this lid down and we'll have it all together. I should be able to fill the bowls through here. I think this is the vent passage down to the bowls. One down, one to go. I'm going to spray through this fuel line with brake cleaner to clean them out. Let it stop that? No, it just seems it has that. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Are they full of anything or are they good? They look good. good. Same thing, different carb. See the junk down there in the blade still? A lot of junk still in there. Why is he so eating. stuck? He's crowded up in there. See, I didn't even know that guy existed. <laughs> Something hit me in the face just then. You all right, Marge? Yeah, I'm good. Mm. 
Look at this guy. Oh no. He no. Crawled in the vent. Stop. Stop. Died down in there. Red flag. Oh yeah, look at all that. Ow. Oh, yeah. Hopefully I got this one together in the correct order the first time. <laughs> She's so thick now. Okay. It's just comical how thick she is. Surprised she lets you hold them. Pigs are funny about being held. I never saw any differences between them. This one says one and this one says two on it. Huh. So hmm. obviously it was some sort of difference. Hopefully that screw didn't go down through the motor because it's missing. Hmm. So that would be bad. It looks like everything's working correctly. All of our linkage and stuff for our accelerator pump. So let's stick them on there, guys. This is troubling. See this spacer here? Mm -hmm. It's busted on this side. Oh, the pig. Oh, this one doesn't even have a gasket aside from that big thick spacer there. Which I've seen car bears that just have that. So here's our new gasket for this thing. We had to buy these kits separately, so it don't just come as like a kit for both carbs. Any help here? Which one had this on top? Dad, you were supposed to know. You said you knew this. You said you knew. One has a handle, one didn't. Wait, wait, wait. This one goes here because the vacuum, that's right. This one goes over here. I got this, guys. Don't worry. I love how the stud goes all the way through it. That, like, holds everything together. As Marge would say, right, y'all? Right, y'all. And we got little choke guys that need to be hooked up. We need a little linkage for them. These were actually new in the kit, too, so these little clips. Okay, so that'll keep our choke shut. That's good. That way the kids don't have to do it, you know. Sometimes you gotta get the kids to choke the car for you so you can start it and get out of the grocery store parking lot. Exactly. <laughs> We've been there. Or push it off. Marge will pop the clutch. Exactly. Man, I snapped one of my dad's carburetors one time. Mm. Tightening one down really tight on one side and not the other. Uh, it snapped up. <laughs> yeah. It probably could have killed me. Oh man, he had the wrong kid for his personality. <laughs> he was always like, stuff like that really bothered him. And he did not like cars getting messed with. And I messed with everything he ever had just because I loved messing what with stuff. What snapped? The carburetor base plate snapped. Oh. Yeah, on the 72 Nova, still got the car. This goes in here. I wish someone wouldn't have taken it off before me. There's no bearings in this. It's just metal on metal. I can't believe it doesn't have like some sort of bearing or something. We're in the darkest van. This is gonna look like Blair Witch Project. <laughs> What's that? Ah, it's a scary movie Stupid from back in the day. Movie. I think that return spring goes right there. That's kind of where we found it. So if we can get this guy linked to here, everything will work. This is our throttle cable. I don't know how it actually locks in there. I don't see a set screw or anything. So I don't think we're gonna have throttle up there until we figure that out. What are you just through there? Run it through there and yeah, twister. And twister at the end, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Put a vice grip on this end of it. Ralphie has come up with the most genius thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Put that over it. Give her a clamp. Then your oil don't spray everywhere and your throttle cable won't come out. I'm just a thinker. I'm filling up the carburetor bowls now through the vent here, like I was talking about earlier. That should go right down to where the jet is. Now I hope she runs. She will, or the engine's shot. That's another possibility. Oh, pig's on my toes. Okay. All right, I'm nervous. Please stop that with me. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> that, that's gonna, that was kinda close. It's gonna
cooking out oil on your tube. Oh, it's going, so it's going out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That Yay. is crazy. It smokes like Hey. I think that's the most smoke we've ever seen. Just because she smoked don't mean she broke. Look, look around the building. Look at this. It's awful. It's crazy. It's hilarious. I can't believe it started right off like that. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, the pig's in her tub over there. <laughs> Why is it smoking so bad? Uh, first thing I thought was blown head gasket, and I thought, wait, it has no coolant. So oh, it wouldn't be like I was going to say that, too. I know. That's what I thought. I was like, oh, it must be a blown head gasket. Look, it's oil. Is it got bad rings or something? Is that oil? That's oil. Yeah, that's oil. Oh. Why would it be pushing around this oil? Oh, snap. Maybe okay. it's some startup, maybe. Well... <laughs> I mean, it has been parked for like 30 plus years. Well, we need to change the oil on it now. That's crazy. And we need to hook up some sort of a fuel system to it. I meant to hook up a hose to the fuel pump, but look at that pump. I think the pump is actually broken, so I don't really expect much out of that. We may just gravity feed them, tank up here or something. Yeah. That's so girl's ready to go. She started right up. All right, I, I'm telling you, at the beginning of this video, very low <laughs> expectation down here, okay? I did not expect her to run at all. <laughs> you figured she's locked up, didn't you? Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, it's going to be locked up. Because I saw how rusty the belts and junk were. And I was like, I saw somebody had already been in the carburetors and junk. And I'm like, this thing never going to run. Oh, wow. You never know. Like, never know. I would have thought the wagon would have ran. Yeah. Because the wagon was low mileage. Like, this thing looks way worse than that wagon did as right. far as condition goes that's true if i had a guess between the two i thought the wagon would have run over this one that's crazy wow i don't know why we're spitting all this oil out of our engine though that's yeah that, that's kind of a that's a little worrisome <laughs> oh. all right well let's uh drain our oil and change that and see what we can do there ralph i can't believe your plan didn't work here okay it works pretty good just not 100 percent. yeah hey go up there in the driver's seat ralph yeah let's see if we can get the throttle to work from the driver's seat give it a tap there Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> look, look what that's going to do. Oh, Let yeah, it's going to jam. Yeah, that's, it's jammed wide open right now. Okay. So, we definitely need a different situation there. Maybe like a bigger Thanks. return spring. Thanks. That's incredible. No, I didn't. All right. Uh, you can hit it now. I'll try it now. Let off. Okay. Not happening, is it? Let's get another return spring on that. Oh, that's weird. Bowling. Return train number three. <laughs> yeah, two didn't work. Is she letting me pet her? She's letting me pet her right now. I don't think she knows who I am right now. Maybe it's the gloves. I think it's the gloves. I think as long as I wear gloves, she doesn't know who I am. Snail down. Pull it back up. Yeah. There you go. How many springs did it take? Uh, four. Okay. It's still going slow though. I don't know you might I... need one more. Yeah. See what's in this pan here. Sometimes it's good to start one up on the old oil because that way it breaks loose some of that sludge, heats it up, and allows it to drain better. Some people like to drain before, after. If I know they're going to run, I'll definitely do it before. But, you know, I hate to waste good oil on a bad motor, you know. At least we know this one's going to run. I really wonder why it's blowing so much out of the exhaust, so. Of course, our plugs were really oily, remember? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty black. Mm. But no chunks yet. So that's a good sign. I don't even know how much oil it holds. It's a weird engine. Like, Wall's car only holds like two and a half quarts, you know? Yeah. I wonder if this thing can hold a lot. Look how weird the oil filter is. It's a little it's guy. So it has two seals, inside and outside seal. That's wild. I That's was surprised the parts were had it. Yeah, it's a 51038, of course. Had that memorized. Mom says it takes four and a half to five quarts. We're going to put five in it. I'm going to pre-fill this thing. 1540 diesel oil here. This way we don't dry start on an oil change. I've always pre-filled mine. Oh, it's in that thing. Yeah, that's where the oil filter's at. It's in here. Wait, ooh, ooh, whoa, hey, hey, don't bite me. Why do you bite everything? Quit it. Are you trying to eat? Nope. Wait. I think it bolts down from the top. I think that's what that bolts for. 
pretty sure. That is so weird. I could have broke the thing. I noticed it had a really small hole in the center. It's almost like a canister oil filter. A lot of cars had back then. Crazy. Oh, look, there it is. That is so weird. So that's the actual oil filter here. It just looks all rusted and crusted. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I may have overfilled this guy. Hmm. Looks right. At least it's a completely flat angle here. That's why it has two seals, because the oil doesn't go through the center of the filter. It goes around the edge of that bolt. That is so crazy. I'm learning so many new things on this one. <laughs> you learn what to do, and you learn what not to do. Right. Yeah, the oil filter bolts in. This fitting is stripped out mm. for the oil pressure gauge, so it looks like I'm just going to pull this out and plug it off with a pop thread plug. The threads are going on that right there. That's eighth inch pop thread plug. Will you grab me one? We don't need to know what the oil pressure is, do we? Nah. It'd be fine. She's running, that's all it matters. Oh, she's teaching. Teaching right along. Yeah, exactly. All junk. All yeah. Ralph, you got the rest of that Marvel mystery oil? How is it still smoking? I guess there's just a lot of heat in the cylinders. A lot of heat in there. You got a controlled explosion multiple times every second, you know? And it hasn't done that in forever yeah, and exactly. ever, so. There's no telling what it burned off and blew out of there, huh? We're gonna pour the rest of our Marvel in there that didn't go in the motor other ways. I like running Marvel. I don't know if these have hydraulic or solid lifters, but I've had good luck with them freeing up hydraulic lifters on old engines, my old Nova and stuff. So I've always thought it was pretty good stuff. I noticed we had kind of a high idle and I see one reason why. I forgot to hook back up the vacuum vents to this car over here. So we had an open vacuum leak. That should help things. We always do that. <laughs> I don't know, we always forget we always something we that. should have done for sure. Maybe we'll cut these off and put rubber hoses on them. You know the only problem? What? We have no gas here at all. Oh gosh. Nothing. I just bought gas and we put it in We're gonna other have to vehicles. go get gas. Yeah, and it's already like getting late. Somebody's like, man, we're original. There, we can hook the hoses onto there, tee it together, and get some sort of can over here. Wow, Marge. <laughs> you got that up out of the way, yeah. didn't you? you thank you <laughs> i even cut my ends off so that's professional right there mm. so if we cut this somewhere pie so it'll still gravity feed we can tear our fuel off into one line we just gotta find some sort of can that has a fitting in the bottom of it i don't know what that would be one way drill am i right <laughs> <laughs> i feel like we had one the one time that was drilled i think ralphie had one on the jeep well, we're gonna have to go get something to gravity feed this with, and we gotta go get some gas. It's already super late, so we're gonna teleport till tomorrow, and we'll see you guys then. Shoo! Marge getting the car and stuff. You can't go slow when you're four wheeling. We're back. I'm gonna try to fix this shifter. I got to thinking about it. I'm like, I don't wanna drive it if I can only have like one gear. So, I'm hoping I can bend this. <laughs> Man, I'm afraid I'm gonna snap that off right there, you know? Let's heat it up with a torch. I don't wanna break that. It's like coated in grease. I'm a little worried about it flaming up real big. Like that. I'm gonna hand this to you, Ralph. Tell me when you're in place. Right here. You got it? Yeah, don't drop it. Oh yeah, look at that. Think it'll shift now? See, you still have a fire, right? Yeah, I'm aware. Think that'll shift it? Well, that looks a lot better. It's gotta be better. Ralph and Cry, see if it's going first gear now. Oh yeah. It did, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. You know, second gear? Yeah. Right, try like third or fourth or whatever. I think that's it. Alright, Okay, I think they're all in. Good deal. See, it can go all the way back now. Well, that was a pretty easy fix. That tube is actually not very strong. The difference between it heated up and not heated up was amazing. Yeah, it was really quick. So, don't jack your Corvair up by your shifter rod, okay, guys? That's funny how that works. Ralphie's idea is to take the boat tank and turn it up on its end because it'll push fuel out. As long as our cap doesn't leak, that should work. We're about to try. We've never done it. Will this work, Ralphie? Without leaking? Yes. We'll try it. See if it works. 
got a crowbar in this field. There you This was definitely like that's uh, terrifying. Creeps, van, <laughs> like a uh, Home Alone. Yeah, crowbar it's a Home up. Alone. Take <laughs> huh? that all the way to wall, please. We're gonna lengthen our kill switch so we don't have to climb over the running end and shut it off. Tell me when you're at your correct distance there, ma'am. Now we got a kill switch up here. Let's get our fuel pressure on here. Oh, 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 it's, it's spraying out. Too much pressure. Look, it's pouring fuel. I'm gonna have to lower it down to get less pressure. That's crazy. Look, we're leaking on both sides. You better just get her and go. Oh gosh. I'm gonna tighten my clamps up tighter, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that'd leak. But it did, for sure. I think that this van has the smallest tail lights of any. Oh yeah? They're a little bitty. <laughs> I'm having to double clamp these to keep them from leaking because basically the metal pipe they're clamped on is really rusty and you know not smooth. Hopefully extra clamps will fix it. I found the master cylinder here under the floor and I should have put fluid in it long ago and really didn't think about it. Oh, that's weird too. See what the situation's like under here. Oh, wow. Very nice. Let me back you my help. Trying not to get any of that rust down in the ports I have to go in through. Yeah, it's not had any brake fluid in a long time. Let's see if we just pour it out the bottom or not. See bubbles. Now, you can't expect much with something like this because probably all the hoses and stuff are rotted and wheel sealers, but you might get a tiny bit of pedal. We'll try that, see what happens. All right, I got the kill switch. Ralphie's got the starter button because the wires aren't long enough. No brake, but it doesn't even feel like it's connected to the master cylinder. Really weird shift pattern too, huh? Yeah. Make sure you have her in go, not reverse. I won't put it in R for race. Ignition on. Hit the starter button, Ralph. This wasn't very well planned out, was it? No. <laughs> the noisy wasn't squeeze. Yeah, yeah it was really loud. <laughs> we should have strapped the battery down. That would have been a good idea. All right, well, maybe we can get the belt back on there. Wow. <laughs> maybe we can just roll her back on there, huh? <sighs> maybe something fell on it and the belt came off. <clears throat> Marge, you want to drive it? I don't think you want Marge driving it. No brakes or anything? Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, now we're good. We got the battery strapped down to. Let's try this again. Oh, Wait, man. you want to wash the belt? No, we're good. It ain't coming off again. Y'all both got fire extinguishers? Yeah. yeah. All right, you got the ignition ignition on, Wa. The clutch doesn't come back on its own. Ralphie, go for it.
Why did it ramp so high? Oh man. That sounded horrible. That did sound that horrible. So Literally could not have sounded worse. <laughs> like, <laughs> now it came off again. And it wrapped in the moon. You is leaving. Thick smoke trail. Thick. I don't know why. Smoke trail. You got a spring hanging. That's probably why you ain't returning back. Oh, but you might be right, Marge. Yeah, it's all or nothing with that truck. Yeah, uh, it just like cranked up. And then like, it took like one second and then it just popped off. Yeah. Maybe when you get some more tension on it. Why don't you go get a 9 16 We'll try to tighten it harder. Do you think we're missing like a little guard or something or pulley? It's probably something? just like our crank pulley part of it's rotted off. Mm -hmm. See right there? Mm -hmm. Our pulleys are in terrible shape. But maybe we can get some more tension on I never really tightened it all that tight because I didn't think it really needed it. Apparently I was wrong. I don't know why this throttle's hanging open so hard. Oh, there, it just popped. We can't have it revving to the moon though. Oh, there you go. See that tensioner move? Yeah. We'll put the crankers on it. Cranker down! Yeah. Try to hit the gas pedal some. See what it does. Oh. Is it stuck? Yeah. Ralphie, go get me a roll of grass string. Where's that at? In the shop, son. We're about to fix this. Perfect, sir. Apparently, our cable is stuck in the tube it's in. It worked there at first. We tried it in the shop, but uh, it ain't working right now. So I think we can hook onto this right here with a string and just throw it over our shoulder, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope our belt stays on. You ready? Okay, we almost got there. Pull on it some more. Oh, yeah, that's gonna work. Let off. Should I take some springs off of it now? No, you don't want to hang open. Well, yeah. I think the problem was the cable, though. I don't think it was the carbs, because we've redone them. All right, let's try that. If right. this belt falls off, I don't even know. I know. We we cranked her down, didn't we? I believe the word is souser down. Yeah, souser. Here's your dog. Wait, do I turn this on? Do I turn this on? Uh, do I turn this on? Here. You gotta, right, wait, wait, wait. gotta get this untangled. There ain't no way. Here. There ain't no way we're about to. What have you done? Here, untangle this. What, what have you done? done? Is the question. I ain't done nothing. First Are we pulling this with a string? Yeah, this oh, is the throttle. Is this the gas? Yeah. yeah, this is the gas pedal. Oh my. Okay, you ready, Squeeze? I did not realize. You gonna steer it for hey. us? If I yell that the belt's off, you gotta Wait, shut it off. Don't listen to him. I'll tell you when to shut it off. I'm, I'm getting ready to stop. Crank it, Ralph. It's not working? No. Nothing? No. That should be starting. Did our starter go out? What's up with this? Is it the starter still so annoying? Wait, did the wires get wrapped up in that thing and get cut or something? No, that looks fine. <laughs> I don't even hear it trying to do anything. All right, hit the starter button. Nothing. There's not any voltage in here. All right. Our connection's the battery. Oh. Something just pulled in. Look. Here, give it to me. Does that do something? Do I need to try it again? Try it. No. Here. Our starter button go out? Surely not. Our Chinese starter button that's been extended, we made that thing not working. I cannot believe this. It stopped working. Oh, 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 it's working again. No, it's stuck. It's stuck, okay. We can't use this guy anymore. That's sad. All right, let me find something else. Don't worry, I found an even cheaper one that Rocky ate the ends off of a couple years ago, and I put these wires on it. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're still in gear walk. <laughs> Do I need to pull the start thing? No, don't pull nothing yet. No, it's right. gone for some. Not yet, not yet, am not yet. Am I steering or am I doing gas? Uh, you can steer if we get it going, okay? Okay. Uh, okay, this is the gas, so I don't need any pedals. I have no brake, no gas pedal. You gotta go really hard on it. Really hard? Yeah. Power on while okay. Ralph hit it starter. Right. 
You know how to drive in reverse? You can't look where you're going. Please. 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 Oh, you were talking to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right, here, here. Let's go and get it first. We're going forward now. You ready, Good. That's gotta be third. Alright, turn your kill switch off. Yeah, I turned it off. Okay. We may have to call it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> call that's it. crazy. <laughs> I don't know if we're in third or first, but it won't pull. But even in reverse, it acts like it won't pull. Yeah. I don't know what's up with that. It's smoking nicely, though. Yeah. yeah. You did a great that. job driving in reverse, Squeeze. You got some trash on you from the engine. Oh, gosh. Yes. <laughs> there's, there's oh, man. Oh, she's smoking a little bit in there. Is your belt mm. uh, I think it probably has a bunch of junk in there on the top of the motor that's cooking off. I think I may have been in first. It wouldn't even pull itself. From the outside, it sounds like the brakes are locking up. It may be. It could be the brakes. Because like, even in reverse, I knew I was in reverse. Mm -hmm. It felt like you were in like way too high of a gear. Mm -hmm. She's a runner, but not a driver yet. She's a smoker. It's really smoking bad, isn't it? Yes, it is. Like, I was trying to back up, and all I saw was smoke back there. I think it's probably the worst smoking thing we have. Probably. What do you got? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, get your sister. <laughs> Oh, she ain't never gonna catch Flaw. <laughs> well, I ain't fly. stopping either. No, she's, they're just going off into the sunset. Squeeze, stop it. I think it was a success though. You hey, know? it's awesome. It's a Definitely a success. It looks cool driving, that's for sure. Yeah. Wheel cylinders is what messes up so bad, isn't it? Yeah. The hose is swallow. I'd say you can probably just get a working there. Well, guys, we gave it our best try on this one. It did run and drive. Looks like the engine needs completely rebuilt. I was awesome. guessing. Unless you were in the mosquito and insect killing business, then maybe you don't need to rebuild the motor. Maybe you just need to drive it more. It was a fun <laughs> learning experience. You know, I've never worked on an air-cooled Chevrolet. I've only worked on Wallace Beetle with mm. air-cooled stuff. Yeah. But it's funny how like the intake manifolds cast into the head. We were looking at the other head there. I think the engine needs rebuilt though, for sure. Yeah, that's, that's the positive. Definitely part. needs brakes throughout, for sure. Engine swap, huh? 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 Come on, come on. Really, man? <laughs> hey, not a bad idea. Are you want to pop this open, Squeeze? Oh, Mom just broke that door, guys. Wow. Just act like it didn't happen, okay? Pop it, Squeeze. Oh, gosh. Good job. First try. I tried to shake it up. Remember, not... drink your RC Colas. Eat your bourbon barbecue vanias. Ralphie, that is diabolical. Here, pour that hey, out. it'll fix the rest. What are you talking Let about? Let Ellie drink that juice. Remember, everywhere you pour out buying your juice, what happens, Ralph? An oak tree. No, it's a redwood, guys. Sorry. 
But we appreciate all you guys watching our channel. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you to everybody that likes, comments, subscribes. Everybody that does super thanks. All of our members. We really appreciate all of you. Members get daily updates on what we're doing and priority status on their comments because we can't keep up with every single comment anymore, unfortunately. We have to hire a staff to do that. We do our best still. You can check out our merchandise at thesleeperdude.com. What can you buy there, Squeeze? Tell them. Squeezy art. I knew she'd start there. Tractors, drawings or sketches, hoodies, shirts, hats. stickers, hats, leggings. I'm oh, joking. No, no leggings. Keychains. Jackie? Keychains. Yeah, we're always trying to work on new stuff. Just takes a while to do that. The keychains and stickers are new right now, so check that out. You can check out our second channel at Sleeper Dude 2. You can check out our third channel at Sleeper Dude Arms. Oh. And you can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleeper Dude 88. My bad, my yep. bad. Future projects. We are wanting to go on a trip in the RV Whoa. and uh, that's going to be the next video you see because you saw us working on the RV in the last video so we're mm -hmm. excited about that hopefully all that'll go well I gotta get back on the Fairmont Futura yes. it's just waiting on me in there I've got parts ordered for the Falcon Futura hey they have the same name didn't even think about it mm. uh, as well we gotta get on that Ralph you want one of these sweet bunnies I'm good okay come, well. on. come on let the braces have it mm. wow. um we need to get on Marge's Yukon to get it fixed. Yes. I finally got parts in for it. We need to get on Marge's MG as well. Yep. Okay, Mom, you second the motion on that? Second, third, and fourth it. Look at Squeeze over here. Oh, my God. Oh, sorry. Oh, Th God. Those aren't as good. <laughs> These are the regular barbecue instead of the bourbons, aren't they? Yeah. Let's go see the goats and the pigs and all them and Murphy. What do you say? Yeah. Woo! 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 Right. How do we get out of here? Who cut the cheese? Look, he can look over the top now. <laughs> it's so big. Hey, big boy. Hey, Rocky, look. Look, you remember these? That's a good good, isn't it? Hey, does George Jones eat these, you think? No. George, George, oh, George has not tried them before. No. Nope. He's like, oh, turn his nose up. Hey, the chosen one right here, Rocky. Rocky Jr. eats them. Come on, Rocky Jr. Oh, I wish y'all wouldn't step on me. Oh, oh, here you go, buddy. All right, we got to save one for Murphy, at least one. Here, Murphy. Here, Murphy. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Good job. <laughs> Look, like she wants back in. Look. Oh. Here, Granny. Here. We can let you have it. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Oh, I think it hit me in the lip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got a back splash. <laughs> Carl's still cautious over here. Carl, it's Carl. okay. She heard the call, like the bat signal. Look how fast she is. She oh, oh, she's scared oh, of donkeys. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, she plowed the field. Yeah, she has. Come oh here. my gosh. That's what one hog can do. Yeah. Imagine like a hog. Hi, honeys. That's a good boy. Hey, you like that, don't you? Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. And remember, Jesus saves. Dollar Gentle every seven miles. Woo! Woo! Who got the chilies? Tell them bye. Bye. Tell them bye. Bye. I don't want to chase you. You done all. You done all chasing me. <laughs>